Olivia, and today we are making tote bags out of old t-shirts. t-shirt it could be your sunrise shirt or any shirt that you want to use you're gonna need a ruler a pair of scissors a pencil or a piece of chalk if you're using a dark colored shirt and an adult nearby just in case you need some help first thing you do is lay your t-shirt on the table and smoothen out all the wrinkles the next step is to decide, is to decide where you want to start cutting so you want to cut off the sleeves around the arm circles like that and then you want to cut around the neckline like a half circle underneath the collar. And then you want to decide if you want your t-shirt tote bag to go all the way down to the bottom of the t-shirt or you want to cut some off. On this t-shirt, on our t-shirts, we will not be cutting off um, extra parts of the bottom. So now that you figured out where you're going to cut, we're going to start, start cutting. So you're going to take your scissor and you're going to do this very carefully. And you're going to cut along the line that you drew. Okay, so once you have the sleeves cut off, then you're gonna cut where you made your line for the straps. So if you haven't done it already, you're just gonna take one hand so you can have even straps. And then flip this around and we're gonna start cutting. So now you should have your straps. Next thing we're going to do is, um, is, is cut the ties to the bottom of the to the bottom of the bag, and you're going to cut strips that are an inch apart, like so. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take it and turn it inside out, so it looks like this, so you don't see the sunrise logo anymore. And then you should have all of these straps open, or not open, there. And all you're going to do is you're going to take the ones that are across from each other and you're just going to tie them. You could do single knot or you could do a double knot. And that's how your bag is going to stay closed. So once you have your single layer done, you can either leave it like that, but if you want to make sure everything stays inside and doesn't fall through, you're going to take the same strings that you tied before and you're going to do it again, but with the string next to it. So it's going to be going diagonally instead of just up and down. And once you have that, you can turn it back inside out and you'll have your bag. Keep watching and remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time.